Get cash for clothes at Plato's Closet in North Charleston in West Ashley. It's so easy. Recycle, earn cash, repeat. We pay cash on the spot for your trendy, gently used clothing, shoes, and accessories. At Plato's Closet, we buy all seasons, all day, every day. It's time to clean out your closet and cash in. Bring in your denim, graphic tees, athletic wear, shoes, handbags, and more. Sell your styles to Plato's Closet for cash. Then, do it again. Plato's Closet, located in West Ashley on Sam Rittenberg Boulevard and North Charleston on Rivers Avenue. Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. All right, let's kick things off with something super interesting. The next time you twirl that spaghetti all covered with cheese on your fork, you may find something more than just spaghetti and meatballs. There could be a chip in your meal. What? Yeah, no joke. Italian cheesemakers, they've been hit with a cheesy dilemma, counterfeit Parmesan cheese. And it turns out there are fakes everywhere selling for top dollar prices. So here's how it works. When it's scanned by a laser reader, the chip will emit a unique ID to tell you whether or not it's the real deal straight from Italy. But don't worry, they say the chips are completely edible. Uh, I don't know if they taste anything. Probably not. And if there's no chip, guess what? It's nacho cheese. Oh, 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 yeah. On that happy note, you're about ready to get more tech smart because every single thing is now a tech thing. And if you're a brand new listener, so glad to see you. And if you're a regular listener, welcome back. I'm Kim Commando, America's digital goddess here with you. And you have tapped into the nation's largest, best, award-winning show about all things digital. You can find us on over 420 top stations across the United States. And you can find us streaming in your favorite radio app. And you can also find us as a podcast, a webcast over at commando.com inside the commando community. And a special hello goes out to all of our listeners in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, and the Space Force in 175 different countries who are now joining us on the American Forces Network Radio, serving more than 375,000 American service men and women. Hello, all you guys and gals. And our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us. And if you're just too shy to come on a big-time radio show and podcast, I get that. You can drop me your questions over on the website. I know, a little old school, but it works. Commando.com and hit the link that says email Kim. All right, every single day I check out at least 35 different websites to make sure that you and I are both up to date on what the heck's going on in the tech world. And here are five things that you need to know, starting with your car. Now, today's cars are just computers on wheels. So with the right electronics and tricks, yes, hackers can intercept, they can block your key fob signal, they can even remotely control your car. So I know what you're saying, like, oh, Kim, you know, they must have expensive tools to do this. Mm, not really. Some of them are like 20 bucks. So you have to fight back. If your car has an app for remote access, uh, that's a big red flag that the hackers are using. So I want you to change the default passwords and make sure that you always, always keep that app updated. Now, every newer car has an onboard diagnostic port. Anybody can buy a kit to exploit that. So, you know, always go to a reputable mechanic. And then, of course, we may have to go old school on this. Yes, a physical steering wheel lock. Those are pretty hard to break. All right, number two on your list is I warned you about this before many times. And now finally, Congress is getting involved. I'm talking about the boppy newborn lounger. It was recalled way back in 2021, leading to infant deaths. But used ones are for sale right now online on Facebook, Marketplace and other places. Now, it has caused at least 10 infants to suffocate over the last five years. Uh, the babies were placed in the lounger on their backside or stomach. So the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission they have requested an average of 1,000 takedowns a month for the lounger. Wow. These aren't the only recalled products with ties with more than 100 infant deaths are still being sold on Facebook Marketplace. So some four members of Congress, they said, hey, Facebook Meta, you got to help us deal with this. So here's the deal. You need to tell everyone you know to look into the products that they're buying online to see if they've been recalled. These are not the only recall products. So head over to cpsc.gov slash recalls, and that's where you can do your search. Uh, number three on our list is if you haven't been to the British Museum in London, you really should. Um, let me tell you, it's pretty amazing place. Last time I was there, I was kind of wandering around. 
into the money section. I'll never forget this because a gal actually had some of the coins taken out of the case. And she was holding gloves and she said, here, would you like to hold the coins? And then she told me all about them. These coins were from like 700 AD. And then I started thinking about everybody that held these coins. And But the thing about the British Museum is they have everything from all parts of the world, right? Uh, they have the Rosetta Stone, ancient Egypt, Rome, Easter Island, you name it. And it's kind of ironic, I found this story, that over 1,500 valuable artifacts have been stolen from the British Museum over the last decade. And of course, everybody says that the British Museum has stolen everything else around the world. But the reason why I bring this up is that one piece of Roman jewelry from the museum worth upwards of $63,000 was just sold on eBay for 50 bucks. What? Yeah, the museum senior curator of Greek and Roman art is the main suspect. Of course, his family says, oh, no, he'd never do anything like that. Uh, the curator's Twitter name is the same as the eBay seller who sold 70 items. Okay. The British Museum, they fired the guy. But guess who else is upset? The people of Nigeria and Greece, because they made calls to say, hey, we want our stuff back. We want our stuff back. Uh, we'll see what the British Museum says at that. Uh, number four, a real big warning. I talked to people who have been victims of romance scams so many times. Now, there's this new app called Expression Chat. Anyone with an iPhone or Android can use it. It's an app that integrates photos with ChatGPT. And so the basic premise is this. You can take a photo of anyone or anything and make it talk to you. It is the ultimate tool for romance scammers. So you upload a photo. It prompts you to create a personality for who would be talking inside this picture. You choose a voice. They have over 50, and they sound really darn good. And then it transforms right into an avatar in just seconds. Um, here, take a listen to what it sounds like. Can you cheer me up? Hey there, buddy. Life can be like a roller coaster with ups and downs, but it's all part of the ride. Yeah, okay. It doesn't sound like a robot, does it? No, pretty good. So again, it's called Expression Chat if you want to try it. But more importantly, I just wanted you to know that this exists and it's going to be so easy to get scammed by it. And finally, this coming in at number five, swiping right for a paycheck. Grace Ling's dating profile. She has curiosity, open-mindedness, love of learning for her, her ideal date. She wants to go to a tech conference and listen to a TED Talk. Mm, what's going on with that? She's looking for a job through online dating. Dating app Grinder. they did a survey. They found that 25% of folks are using it to network, not necessarily to get a date. So the next time you're looking to find someone to date online, just know they could be handing you a resume. Talk about bait and switch. All right, have you ever thought what you would do if you suddenly lost access to medical care from supply chain issues and medication shortages to natural disasters? Unfortunately, it's a real possibility. Many of those affected by the wildfires in Hawaii are struggling to get access to medication right now. That's why every home needs a Jace case. Each Jace case includes an emergency supply of five commonly used antibiotics, and it's curated by a team of physicians and clinical pharmacists. I just got a Jace case for our home, and I was so pleasantly surprised with how, just how easy it was. There's no need to drive to a doctor or even the pharmacy. You just go online, you fill out a simple form, and your Jace case is delivered right to your door, all at an affordable price that beats traditional pharmacies. So get peace of mind knowing you have access to life-saving medications no matter what comes your way. Go to jacemedical.com. Use code Kim at checkout for a discount on your order. That's jacemedical.com, code Kim. Let me spell it for you. J-A-S-E medical.com okay. This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV, the Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash EV9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. Frank in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm just bringing up the thing called a Saturn app, which mm -hmm. apparently a lot of high schools, and they say high schools, but it's 13 years and to 18 that are allowed to access this app. Um, and there's a lot of uh, vulnerabilities that some parents may not know about. A lot of parents probably don't even know their kids have it. Right. 
But a 14-year-old, a 41-year-old parent um, just looked at this app, didn't know his daughter had it, wasn't mad at her, but decided, hey, I'm going to look into this. Logged in, was able to uh, basically give a name, uh, make, a, make up a name, make up a birthday, make up a graduating date to act as his daughter uh, with a cell phone number. Was able to access, and basically it gives you access to all the kids in your school, their schedules. Your, you can post your schedules, your profile with a picture. It gives you class time, schedules, teachers, uh, class rosters, team rosters, school events. It's crazy, isn't uh, it? it? It's just it's links just, to Instagram, TikTok, yeah. Snapchat, all that stuff. And you know, first of all, my problem is with a thirteen year old doing that, let alone a kid. But he's a forty one year old man who could have been a predator or anything. And you know, so this came up. And it, it kind of got nation- nationwide, and apparently Saturn did a quote-unquote update, so that couldn't happen. But my one of my questions is, why, if you're sharing this to students, would you even need to update that? You should have seen all this before it ever happened, security-wise. One would hope, yeah, right? But I mean, I mean par- a lot of parents have no idea. No, because they don't. A lot of parents don't. A lot of parents don't care. A lot of parents care or they're taking care that they don't want their child. They want their child to be their friend and not, you know, why are you looking at my phone? Well, hey, kid, it's it's not your phone. And my job is to protect you. Thank you. I wish more people would say that. And and I mean, I would tell my son, you know what? Having a phone is not a rite of passage. It's my phone. Right. And it's a privilege. It is a privilege. And I, you know, you know, he's 22 and Never had any issues, knock on wood, you know, with phone. Well, I, don't ex- I don't expect that, that anything you know now. that you know of. Yeah, well, you know what? He would have told me. <laughs> okay. Because that's the relationship that I, I have with him. Um, okay. And and it's 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 it took a lot of work to get there. Trust me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he's an amazing guy. I mean, he graduated from USC in honors and he's going to law school now. And Not, not USC. Yes. I went to Notre Dame and my son went to Notre Dame. So, hey, but great school. Good friends went to USC. <laughs> Fight on. Okay. So. Yeah, there you go. Um, and, and so one of the other things, you know, talking about parents, um, I'm, a, I'm a scout adult with uh, the scouts, scouts BSA. And our troop and Boy Scouts of America has a thing called the Cyber Chip Program. Correct. Which every year um, the child, given his grade, goes online with his parents and they look at threats and stuff and they discuss it. And then the child comes up with a um, contract between the scout and his or her parent mm-hmm. saying, hey, I'm not allowed to do this. I understand. Here's the which to me is, you know, again, we're trying to let them become adults. Well, and that's just it. Suffering. That's just it. If you go to commando dot com slash contract, I've had this pretty much, you know, that out there for, yeah. for 20 odd years. But let's talk about Saturn uh, sure. is that you're, you're absolutely right. You know, it just became immensely popular the first part of yes. August. And, yes. and then it was like, oh, well, wait a minute. Um, I actually wrote about this in our free newsletters because okay. Saturn, they came out and they said, oh, we did a big update. We're going to make sure that your kids are safe. So they say <laughs> they they said they're going to verify it um, on different processes and signals and, you know, but maybe not email verification because the school doesn't allow it. They never said it was a whole bunch of corporate BS. Okay. Yes, they talk around the issues. And the legal statement hasn't changed in reality since it came to nationwide attention. It's so, the same one. They just use the language of talking, you know, lawyer language, basically, talking around any liabilities. Well, but it's not just this app. And so, you know, there are yeah. so many other different apps like this, but it just it brings up a more important task for parents. And especially since I, I recently read and I talked about it on the show that. Over 50% of parents say they couldn't raise their kid without a smartphone. So, but it brings up just an important focus is that if you've got a child, I never hear from you until there's a problem. And then all of a sudden you're going to call me up. This is what happens. They call me up, Frank, and they say, oh, little Johnny and Janie got into trouble over at the porn sites or they're getting cyberbullied or they sexted somebody and I don't know what to do now. Well, you should have been there in the beginning. You should have been watching. Okay. I don't mean to say should, but that's the bottom line. You know what? If you were, uh, man and woman enough to have a child, it's your responsibility to watch them to make sure that they are a good self-sustaining adult when they become 18 years of age. So you're preaching to the choir here. And unfortunately, not everybody agrees with this because they'll say, oh, you're taking away my kid's privacy. You my, know, My dad's idea of privacy was when we said privacy, he took the door off the hinges. You know, you gave him lip and, the, you know, 
And it's like, hey, you earn privacy. Yes, you should have it. But I'm responsible for you well, reaching 18. And that was your dad's privacy policy in the household. Yes. Okay, so, yeah. so, but it's, it's a, it's, it's a problem. I don't know if there's any quick fix because you know as well as I do, and I was a scout leader too. You got bad parents and you got good parents. Okay, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I'd have to call a parent and say, "Oh, you know, Michael's here. Oh, shoot, I forgot all about him. Like, how do you forget oh, yeah. about your kid?" Okay, yeah. So, yep. but then you have the parents who are really into it, and they're yes. like, "I'm going to make sure that Johnny or Janie, they, they, you know, they that when they go on their own, they're going to know how to do everything," and you know. So, but the bottom line here is that if you've got a kid and you're not watching what they're doing online, I don't want your child to be a statistic, that kid in your family. Hear about it, read about it all the time. I do, literally all the time about how some girl, some kid met somebody online, they got killed, they got raped, whatever it may be. And then you reach out to me and say, how can I find out who did this? Well, don't be that person. Don't do that. Come from a sense of power. Don't push it off on anybody else. Don't push it off on apps that are supposed to watch your kids or the scout leader is supposed to watch your kids or whatever. It's your kid. You had him. You take care of him. It's that simple. And that includes watching their digital life, their digital existence. Because let me tell you something. They see something online. They do something online. Somebody hurts them. You cannot reverse it. You will not be able to reverse it. Even if they don't get hurt, they see something. They cannot unsee it. So you need to watch your kids. We have the contract. It's been out there for years. I keep it updated every year. Commando.com slash contract. That's commando.com slash contract. Free contract to use with your kids with all their digital devices. Frank, thanks for your call today. Hopefully we had a lot of parents listening, right? Hope so. All right, I have a rule. If an email is going to take me longer than, say, 45 seconds or a minute to write, I just pick up the phone or I send a video meeting invite that second. And if you're still fumbling with your TV remote controls, I am here to save the day. You may not have ever noticed that your TV or cable company's remote has a microphone or a voice button. So it's time for you to start using it. You don't have to hunt through the channel guides or anything like that. You just hit the microphone or the voice button and bam, you are in the future. Your TV will do as you command. You can browse apps and movies and shows. You can say what you wanna watch. You can check the weather, the sports scores. Uh, you can launch content. You can do all of this just by using your voice. Now, the way that you set it up depends on your TV or cable provider. Just Google how and you can thank me later. Get cash for clothes at Plato's Closet in North Charleston in West Ashley. It's so easy. Recycle, earn cash, repeat. We pay cash on the spot for your trendy, gently used clothing, shoes, and accessories. At Plato's Closet, we buy all seasons, all day, every day. It's time to clean out your closet and cash in. Bring in your denim, graphic tees, athletic wear, shoes, handbags, and more. Sell your styles to Plato's Closet for cash. Then, do it again. Plato's Closet, located in West Ashley on Sam Rittenberg Boulevard and North Charleston on Rivers Avenue. Oh, let's sing it together. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Okay, that's totally why I failed my audition with one of the Beach Boys <laughs> a couple of months ago. He's like, guys, the guy sitting there, his name's Bruce. He's like, Kim, you have this greatest voice. You're going to be able to like sing. I, you know, every time I listen to your show, I just know that you have this great sultry voice. So sing for me. And there were people all around me. And I was like, no, this is like super embarrassing. I'm not going to do this. And then my friend Joe's like, oh, just go ahead and do it. So I just went ahead and did it. And I said, so what do you want me to sing? And he's like, just pick something. And Barry's like, oh, you don't know what you're getting into. And so I just belted out in my best voice. Good, 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 good vibrations. And then the Beach Boy guy looked at me and goes, um, I think you should just stick to radio. Just think that would be good for you. But cue the angels because it's back to school time. Uh, the other day, true story is I texted my son Ian and I said, so tell me, honey, this year, do you want the Hot Wheels backpack or do you want the surfer one? And he texted me back. He's like, uh, cute mom. You're so funny. Okay. Uh, Ian's 22 going to law school. I don't think I see him with the Hot Wheels backpack. Uh, but here to join us here on the show talking about back to school specials and how not only if you're a student you could save is our amazing content queen Ali Seligman. Hello there Al. Hi Kim. That's right uh, the Hot Wheels backpack which he you know what he really said after that? What? 
Do you expect me, a child who grew up with Hot Wheels, to be content with only one car? <laughs> That's a really good point. You kind of trained him for that. Yeah. That's on you. I know. It's a bad thing. Yeah. It's a bad thing. Yeah. So so where do we start saving money? And is it is it hard to get these student discounts? Some. So some things depend, right? There are deals that everybody can get, which is a really good part of back to school. I don't have kids, so... You know, I don't really care about back to school except for the deals. Uh, some you do need to be a student or a teacher. We'll go over those. And there are some things that, well, maybe you have a student in the family and mm. they can do it for you. Oh, that'd be good. Hmm, okay. Some that you actually need to be a student for. You can get pretty good discounts on Apple gear. You have to be a teacher, a student, you can be a professor, you can work at a school, you don't even have to be a teacher, um, or even homeschool teachers, which is pretty neat. You can get 50 bucks off one of the really nice iPads or $100 off a MacBook, which is actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, they're expensive. Uh, and right now, because it's back to school time, you can also get a $150 gift card. So this is the time to buy. Apple has a special education store page. You have to apply, and then once you're verified, you can get the cheap prices. Microsoft does something similar. You can get 10% off if you are a student or get this, a parent of a student. All oh, right. that's nice. I know. They do educator discounts too. Uh, so does Samsung. They do 15% off for parents, students, and educators. Pretty darn good. Uh, and the nice thing about that one, it compounds with the discounts they do. So if it's already 15% off, you can get the extra 15% off on top. Oh, oh, that's nice. So they're not saying like either one or the other. Nope, nope. You don't have to pick. Uh, does it come with, does, do, does, do any of the Samsung products come with a fire extinguisher? <laughs> just, just wondering. Ouch. Sorry. That was one time, Kim. I know. Sorry okay. about that. Uh, this is a good time to buy laptops and computers in general, but laptops especially are going to find good deals because, you know, college uh, students need a laptop for the first time maybe or just a better one. Dell, a full disclosure, they're a sponsor of the show. They did not tell me to talk about this. I just couldn't resist. They are having a huge sale right now. The Inspiron 15 laptop. That is the one that our uh, IT genius, John, says, if you're going to get one, get this one because it's the best bang for the buck. Right now, $399. Normally, $779. Wow, that is a deal. And you yeah. know what? And if John says to buy it. I know. Okay, it's, that's it's a good machine. It. Yes. When I need something or am trying to choose between something, I ask John. He's So do I. He's the guy for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was so great because when I saw him this morning, I was like, I'm John. And, you know, and I try not to whine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I try not oh. to whine. I'm like, but John, can you help me fix my phone? And, he's like, and he always says, I love what he always says. He's like, not a problem. Yeah, he's not great a problem. About it. He's fabulous. Yeah. He is. Okay. That one is nice too. All the Dell cells. You don't have to be a student. Anybody gets these. We're going to move on to ones that anybody can get. If you're a webcam, if you were that person that's always in a video meeting looking like a potato because you're so blurry, <laughs> you need a new webcam. Uh, there's a nice Logitech one at Best Buy right now. Normally 100 bucks. You can get it for 50. Half off. This nice. is the time. Uh, also a good time for headphones and earbuds. AirPods are pretty cheap right now. Normally the second gen are 160 bucks. Right now they're 100. Uh, the AirPods Pro 2, normally $250. Yes, uh, you can get them for 200. Okay, but is it really a good time? Because we have new AirPods coming in a couple of weeks. That is true. You could wait on the AirPods and you'll probably find this similar deal because once the new models come out, right, you're going to get discounts on the previous models. So, all right, we'll stick with that one. Wait on those. But I will tell you that, see, I've been using iOS 17. Yeah. And it keeps coming up. Do you want to set up spatial audio? Mm. Okay. So what you're supposed to do, okay, is hold the phone up to your face. Okay, then take your phone over to your right ear and then hold it there and then take like, and then you spin it all around. <laughs> like you're scanning your head. You're scanning your eardrum. Oh my gosh. And then you do it to the other side and then you have to do your head like three or four times. And you know me, it's short attention span theater. You got bored halfway. <laughs> I did. I'm like, you know what? Just forget it. You know, John, can you? <laughs> yeah, John. Yeah, get that little one. Hi, John, can you? It reminds me of my mom. So sometimes we be shopping. 
And she would say like to the, who wherever we're like a furniture, she's like, oh, I'm just a widower. Can I get a discount? I'm like, oh <laughs> Did my. Did it work? Oh, all the time. Oh my god! I just lost my husband. I'm like, mom, that's 20 years ago. She's like, they don't know. I'm like, okay. It feels like yesterday. It does. Sad. Yeah. Okay. All right, moving on. Backpacks, we got to talk about them, right? It's not tech, but two brands that have actual really cool backpacks, even for adults. Yes, Herschel. Um, I am not kidding you. I have a Herschel backpack that I used in college. It's old, trust me, but it's still so cute, and I use it for traveling. It's nice. Uh, Patagonia bags are really nice, too, if you're into hiking, camping, um, or you just want a nice backpack. Pretty decent time to get a deal on a router, actually. Uh, the, the idea is, right, you might need a router for your new apartment or your new dorm or whatever it is. Uh, the Eero Pro system is on sale. If you have dead spots in your house, go to Mesh. You just need to do it, yes. seriously. Yeah. One more for students uh, exclusively, but again, maybe you have a student in the family who could help you with this. Six-month free trial of Amazon Prime, which is pretty sweet. It's essentially the same as a regular Prime account, except it's cheap. It's only $7.50 a month after that six-month trial, so a fair bit cheaper. Uh, There's also discounts for Peacock, the streaming service, only $1.99 a month instead of the normal $5.99. Yeah. And you know your kids steal all your streaming subscriptions anyway. So, like, make them pay for one. It's $2. Come on. Um, And, Kim, you raised a really good point with those headphones. So, what should you not buy right now? Apple Gear is actually a really good one because all the good stuff is going to drop very soon. That means all the previous models are going to get cheaper. Not the time for TVs and gaming consoles. Those are always big on Black Friday. So wait for those deals. Okay, but wait, Allie. I mean, so what's a kid going to go, Mom, I need a laptop, and I know it's back to school. I need a new Xbox. (laughs) Well, that's the thing, though. They try to get you because they put other things on sale, and your mind goes, oh, it must be the time to buy these. All the electronics are on sale. That's true. But it's only a little discount. Exactly. Yeah, it's not going to be the Black Friday one. And listen, I'm sure kids have convinced their parents of of much more than that. Uh, And then one more, not tech, but worth mentioning, that you want to wait for, Mattresses. If you need a new mattress, that's around the corner. Labor Day sales. That's where you want to be. You know, because you know, Ian is in law school, mm-hmm. and so we've gone. I've gone through like the grammar school, middle school, high school, college, and now we're law school. And you know, the stuff still continues. Like, I mean, you know, it's like you know, we still need to like buy books, right? And a backpack. And but I'm really surprised. I said because he's had the same MacBook mm-hmm. uh, since probably sophomore year of high school. Oh my gosh! And I said, you know, don't you need a new MacBook? I mean, and I even told him, I said I can get one for free off of my because he's he's always very conscious about spending money. Yeah. And so I said, you know, I can get it off free off my rewards, my credit card rewards. So and he's like, no. This one works fine. I'm like, are you sure? You know, but also keep in mind with with student discounts is that um, that you can maybe get them at the bookstore too. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That works for professors, educators, teachers too. You can get a, a good deal on one of those. But we did have a situation last night that I was out at dinner and I had American Express text me and call me and email me that there was fraud on my account. Oh no! And it was for a hundred and seventy seven dollars. So I snapped it. And then texted to Ian and said, is this you? Because whenever he needs to buy something for school, he puts it on my credit card. And then, I love this, I get reimbursed from his 529 account. Oh, score. I know. It's so great. Um, and he's like, no, that's not me. So I, I'm like sitting there at like stake 44, and, which is you know, a nice place. And I'm like, okay, just send me a new credit card. Okay. <laughs> and so this morning he texts me and goes, oh, and I woke up this morning. That was me. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh, Ian, you're in trouble. Yes. It was like... Um, you're but grounded. The, but the name of the company, that was what's sort of screwy. It wasn't the name of the college or anything like that. It was a study guide that he bought, and he had to buy it for a class. And it was for like like Sellers Consortium International. They couldn't make it sound more scammy, could they? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, yeah, this is total scam. This is total scam. So as far as like getting all these discounts, yes. I know you just rattled them off. And I'm sure there's somebody who's saying, oh, Allie's selling men. I can't. <laughs> don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, he's throwing all these things at me. We are going to have them on the website, of course. And you better subscribe to our newsletters because we are going to be sending these out early next week in our Tech Hacks newsletter. So subscribe to that. Get Kim.com. You better do it. Oh, and speaking of that guy with that voice, we got 
a review that I just have to read. I know this isn't really the time for it, but Kim, if you want to file this away for my you know, annual review later, uh, great job on the newsletter. I'm pretty sure Allie did all the heavy lifting. Tom <laughs> from Kansas. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. I'm just the, pra- I'm just the pretty face. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I'm just back here, the gremlin typing. You yeah. know what, speaking of Allie, get your butt in gear. Okay, come on. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. It's time for you to get back to work. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thanks, and she does. She does. She does a lot of the heavy lifting, as a matter of fact. She does. And that's it. I mean, but she's wonderful. Again, get those newsletters. Get Kim.com. Hey, real quick is that if you are get, trying to get a recipe online and you got to go through the whole blogger's whole dissertation about how she liked chocolate chips and these chips and it was a grandmother's recipe and her great grandmother came from Sicily and all the other stuff. Here's what you need to do. Just hit control F or command F on your Mac. Type in the word print, and you're going to go straight to the recipe. Let me tell you about a revolutionary new mobile voicemail app. If you've got a business, your voicemail is probably filled with messages from customers. Often the messages don't contain all the details you need. But what if you were able to get visual information from your callers? That's something you can't do with a traditional audio voicemail box but you can with Fillmore Productions Video Voicemail. With Fillmore Productions Video Voicemail, callers receive a link to download the mobile app. There they can view important details about your business, watch videos about what you have to offer, and then leave you a video message. Actors and musicians can showcase what they do, and callers to medical practices or repair shops can report their issues visually. There are so many things that video voicemail can do for a business that makes audio voicemail a thing of the past. Discover what video voicemail can do for your business. Visit GetVideoVoicemail.com. That's GetVideoVoicemail.com. That's GetVideoVoicemail.com. Uh, James in Plano, Texas. So I have I have a situation. I uh, I work deep nights during the week, and uh, I you know, Monday night through Friday night, and uh, of course on the weekends. Um, I go back to a day schedule because I, I try to pretend I have a little bit of a social life, um, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I was uh, wondering, uh, you know, I, I'm trying, it, it's a tough to juggle uh, going back and forth every week uh, as far as sleep and things like that. And it really needs to be kind of objectified. I, I've tried getting graph paper and colored pencils and drawing lines uh, with time going to the right. I was just wondering if there's any kind of app that you know of that could help me manage this that would be a little bit less tedious than paper so, and pencil. So what do you what do you want to manage? The time that you're working, the time that well, you're sleeping? Well, well, not the, well, the time I'm working is consistent and, and fixed. So the time I'm sleeping, um, but really the time I'm sleeping, because uh, like I say, it just kind of all gets lost in a fog after a while when you're not being objective about it, if that makes any sense, when uh, you know it just kind of no, it's, it's just, hard on that's hard on your body. Well, you know what? I don't disagree, but it's kind of something I have to do right now. Sure, I get that. I get that. Yeah. Um, so. Well, you can use Apple's built-in calendar, so you put mm-hmm. in your work shifts, and then you can actually set reminders. So mm-hmm. this is you know, and you can set a reminder that you know this is when I need to sleep or I need to at least go try to rest. Yeah. Uh, and then put your phone into sleep mode Mm -hmm. so that this way you don't get all those annoying notifications and, and because that will disrupt your sleep, obviously. Uh, But Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people don't realize that when you put your phone in sleep mode, if if there's somebody who you want to be able to actually get through uh, that, you can definitely do that. Just have to permission that person or that app. Yeah. And you know, and an app might also help you too. Um, Have you ever tried um, any type of meditation apps to, to get you to sleep? Uh, meditation? Mm-hmm. No, uh, I don't generally really have a problem. Oh, you don't? Sleeping, okay. Uh, unless it's sleeping too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> and right. occasionally going, being late to work. So oh. That's not really the issue. The issue is um, I need to do all these things, like most people, you know, five different things uh, uh, or things in a week. And I have to say, I have to, uh, it'd be nice, nice to look at something uh, and say, okay, uh, during this time slot, I can't do that because I'm sleeping. You okay. Know? Well, you know so what? Then, whatever. then, then I would, I would look at using Apple's built-in calendar uh, okay. because this way you can. And you already have it on your phone, so you might as well try that. And that's okay. where you can, 
like I said, you can set reminders. You can look at a schedule. It'll tell you if you're trying to schedule something during another time. It'll say, "Up, oh, mm-hmm. well, you know what? You got a conflict right here. Doesn't I don't think you're going right. to be able to to drop off that UPS at that time because yeah. you've got you're supposed to be sleeping." Now, if that doesn't work, uh, there is an app called Shift Work Schedule. Again, that's called a Shift mm-hmm. Work Schedule. It's mm-hmm. it's tailor made for people who work different shifts, like you do. Okay. And yeah. so you might want to, if, you, if you're having trouble with Apple's built-in calendar, then you might want to look at it. It's called Shift Work Schedule. But what I like about, because you already have an iPhone, and you already have this built in, is that it also gives you the ability to actually say, you know, I don't want to say the S word, the wake word, but, you know, set an appointment for me to do this. Uh, make a note to tell me to do this. When I'm near uh, the Safeway, remind me that I need to drop off my return for Amazon at the UPS. So, you know, a lot of people are, don't realize that it's, it's a pretty powerful app once you start using it. So try it. If that doesn't work, shift work schedule is my second choice. Uh, James, thanks for your call. All right, there's one site that I really like. It's called Camel Camel Camel. It shoots you an email anytime something drops in price. You just create an account, drop in the Amazon URL, and then you set these options like only alert me when it drops below a certain price or maybe if it drops by a certain percentage. Now, next use Honey. These are coupon codes, and it has a drop list feature similar to Camel Camel Camel. But with Honey, you get price alerts also across the sites, and they give you those valuable promo codes. And if you need more information about this, you need some tips and tricks, head over to commando.com. Be sure to tell three friends about the show because knowledge is power. You can find me 24-7 at commando.com. This program is a copyrighted production of Westar Multimedia Entertainment and protected by the copyright laws. Any rebroadcast or use of this program for commercial, business, economic, or financial purposes without the written permission of Westar Multimedia Entertainment is strictly prohibited. Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, makes banking faster and easier. Like this. Fargo, what's my checking account routing number? And this. Fargo, uh, turn off my debit card. And this. Fargo, what did I spend on groceries last month? And that's just the beginning. Do you, Fargo? You can in the Wells Fargo mobile app. Learn more at wellsfargo.com slash getfargo. Terms and conditions apply. Your mobile carrier's availability and message and data rates may apply. Wells Fargo Bank and a member FDIC. Get cash for clothes at Plato's Closet in North Charleston in West Ashley. It's so easy. Recycle, earn cash, repeat. We pay cash on the spot for your trendy, gently used clothing, shoes, and accessories. At Plato's Closet, we buy all seasons, all day, every day. It's time to clean out your closet and cash in. Bring in your denim, graphic tees, athletic wear, shoes, handbags, and more. Sell your styles to Plato's Closet for cash. Then, do it again. Plato's Closet, located in West Ashley on Sam Rittenberg Boulevard and North Charleston on Rivers Avenue.